We're joined now, I'd like to say, by former Labour advisor Scarlett Maguire. Uh, good morning to you, Scarlett. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, what did you make of Boris Johnson's return to the campaign fold yesterday after his latest holiday? Uh, where he basically said we're looking at, you know, he's always said before, hasn't he? Starmageddon, a Labour supermajority, they're socialists, there's, the Labour government is uh, pregnant with horrors and uh, Tory waverers should turn back to the Tory fold. What did you make of that as a Labour okay. advisor? Well, as, as a Labour advisor, I mean, we've heard it all before and we don't take it very seriously. What's more important is, is the effect that Boris Johnson will have, which I think is very, very little. I mean, what he's really doing is saying, I am still important, uh, listen to me, um, but and watch this uh, terrible Prime Minister lose a, an election. And if I had been there, it wouldn't be like that. I don't think it's true, but that's not the point. Is is that what Boris Johnson was trying to say is this is the difference between Rishi and me. Yeah. But actually, it had no effect. I mean, you saw it on the news bulletins, you saw little bits of it, but, but nothing's going to happen because of it. Because it's not, not going to change the polls. It's not going to change the polls. And I, and, and I think, interestingly, whether if he had come in earlier and appeared to be at all loyal, whether that would have changed it at all. I mean, I think that the love affair that this country had with Boris Johnson in 2019, I think it's gone. I mean, well, all I've, the... I've always thought that it wasn't a love affair. I mean, certainly, <laughs> no, Tory MPs were never enamoured of him. They didn't like him at all. They just they no. knew he was a vote winner. Lots of Tory party members absolutely loved him. And I've seen him, you know, he's a celebrity. I've seen him on the, on, on the, uh, out on the hoof. And my God, you know, people, you know, what, you know the star X factor thing. There's no doubt at all about it. But actually, a lot of that vote was who's going to deliver Brexit? Well, he was the only one who could feasibly do it. And who isn't Jeremy Corbyn? And he wasn't Precisely. Jeremy Corbyn. I mean, and I, mean, I think we... a lot of that 80 majority is wrapped up in that and not to do with the star-spangled Boris Johnson, you know, magic. I know, but I think as there are still quite a lot of people in the Tory party who think, think that he does have the magic. And I'm with you. I mean, I think he had the easiest opponent he could possibly have had. Um and it was still only an 80 majority, actually. Here's the question. Are all these polls saying there'll be, I mean, again, the super majority is meaningless, but a massive stonking majority for the Labour Party and a bloodbath, frankly, for the Tory party. Are they actually helpful to Labour? Because we've got a lot of people, you know, the Pat McFadden's, the Bridget Phillipson's, the I mean, you know, Keir Starmer and uh, Angela May and others themselves actually coming out and saying, you know, it's not a done deal. You know, we're not, it's not, it's not, you know, most people still haven't voted yet. Things could change. The latest MRP survey uh, for Servation, a mega poll, put the Labour Party on 484 seats. The Tories on 64 seats. There'll be a lot of voters saying, I've had enough of the Tories. It's been 40 years. They're unhappy with what they've done or what they've not done. They want them out. They're not, according to the polls, particularly enamoured with Labour or enamoured with Keir Starmer. Most people don't know what he stands for. They don't, uh, there are probably people out there who don't know his father was a toolmaker, amazingly, Scarlett. But... Um, but they figure, well, we'll give them a chance. But they might be put off, might they, by this idea that they have so many seats that it's an absolute wipeout. Do you think that's a risk for Labour? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I know a lot of very nervous um, ex-MP... I mean, you know, prospective political candidate, prospe prospective parliamentary I candidate. I hate, that, I hate that phrase. I, I hate that. I <laughs> mean, people who we would call MPs trying yeah. to hang on to their seats. Yeah. Right. Um, in pretty safe seats who are very very nervous who are working very hard and and actually one of them said to me the problem with the polls is they've taken over the election is that's what the election is all about and you know you, you had it actually when when Nigel Farage said see I'm ahead in the polls I'm above the Tories I should be on the leaders thing this is a man without one who never had an MP who we have no, no but, idea but, but the poll but the but people saying they'll vote for him look you know I've got well, I look at the Ofcom rules about what we're allowed to do and what we're allowed to say and the balance we have to get. And it is based on current polling and past elections. Yeah. No, 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 I agree. What I'm saying is is, is we know nothing about... I mean, polls... What the, real, what the real vote is going to be. Polls have been wrong. Not one vote has been counted. Yeah. Labour are worried. And yeah. what Labour is saying is, if you want us to be in power, vote for us.
don't don't think that it's a done deal right. because it really well, isn't. Keir Starmer has said in the last few moments uh, uh, while he's out on the campaign trail that he's not worried in the slightest by Boris Johnson's last minute campaign intervention. He called it Exhibit A of Tory chaos and division because, of course, you know Rishi Sunak didn't appear on stage with him, which is a real giveaway, isn't it? But let me ask you about what happens with Labour as it looks like they will be, be in power. Let's face it, Mel Stride today, the Work and Pension Secretary, pretty much conceded the election. Uh, Grant Shapps has done so before. Suella Bravman, uh, who was a former candidate, she a former minister, she has pretty much conceded it. Um, what are your biggest hopes for what Labour will do? What are your biggest fears? Because that's what we're asking our audience today, because we've already got some information, you know, detained migrants, some 300 earmarked for the Rwanda uh, uh, deportation. They've been released because civil servants and the judges are going, well, I mean, they haven't got any reasonable chance of going. Labour are going to get in. Um, th these flights are going to be cancelled anyway. So, great, what's happening there? Also, prisons crisis. The Labour have said there's no, not going to be any sudden change. We're not going to have pop-up prisons, which means the early release scheme of some pretty serious criminals will continue. I mean, a lot of people will just say it's just more of the same, isn't it? But some might say even worse. No, well, I, I certainly think it'll be a lot better. Um, I, 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 so my hopes, my real hope is is public services. I mean, we have to do something with the National Health Service. Um, you know, I know people, a lot of people, too many people who have gone private because they can afford to. Most people in this country do not have that choice. Yep. And, and, and it's not just to skip a waiting list. I mean, in some cases, it's it's because the damage that will be done by waiting is just too much it's not people being greedy and jumping the queue these people are desperate no no no, no. these are the the absolutely the people i know um who are either in pain but what for many many people that that is not a choice so we have to sort out the nhs um and, and when well, you I, have to yeah we all look okay everyone in the country agrees with that yeah w but what evidence but is there that labor will be able to do that well well because so one is we've got to we, we've got to get around the corner the table with the Great. junior doctor. Let's get right. around the table. Brilliant. No, 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 Julia. It's fine to say that, but for months, for months they refused to talk to them. And then Victoria Atkin, instead of they called them trainee doctors. Well, yeah, I mean, I've that was just embarrassing. By junior doctors. So, so, so let's stop being rude about the people who we really, really need. I, I don't think the BMA care about people being rude. They want 35% and they, they say they're, they're not going to go lower. They know they're not they going to get it. But here's the thing, know, you could pay the junior doctors 35%, you could pay them 50%. It's not going to change the fact that there are 7.5 million people on waiting lists. So what do you? What, what is Labour going to do? It's all very well. What is Labour... So they've said, so, so they have said that they're going to open up uh, weekends, evenings, they, they're going to actually what they're going so to while do Keir is... Starmer is spending time with his family he wants everyone else in the NHS to not spend time with their families Julia Friday night I know I know I've made that oh, point on the show said, yesterday Friday yeah. night it's perfectly reasonable uh, perfectly that reasonable said, but that that no no I mean come on if you you know if 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 you work overtime in the NHS you either get paid or you get time off in lieu Yes, I know, having spent too much time in the NHS in the last couple of years, just how hard they work all the way down. Well, yeah, and, and I mean, you might be in a different hospital from the ones I've been in, but there we are. But, OK, I mean, again, I just think it's... Everyone's saying we must do this, it's got to be done. There isn't any money to do anything. I don't think Labour have got the guts to do the sort of reforms that are necessary. I think a lot of people question that. Knowingly, time is out. We've got to go to a break. Um, but I, I know we're going to talk about all of these things a million more times. Scarlett McGuire, thank you very much indeed former Labour advisor, uh, Scarlett Maguire.